community has been asking and we are there for you as you are here for us so uh, our wish is to keep supporting the game so we're glad to announce another full year of post-launch content coming to Rainbow Six Siege. Finally, a year two DLC for Rainbow Six Siege has officially been confirmed by Ubisoft. What is going on guys? They call me Abby. Season 4 is just around the corner and with that comes the end of year one of Rainbow Six Siege DLC. The year one season pass gives us access to eight new operators, four new maps, and it's actually five if you count Barlet University coming in patch 5.2, extra daily challenges, permanent renown boosts, discounts in the Rainbow Six Siege store if you're a season pass holder as well. I think it was a pretty good bang for your buck. Now I know for a lot of you this might not actually come news as this stuff was leaked pretty much exclusively on reddit for all you warriors out there but it's nice to see that this game is going to be supported over the long haul for a lot of you guys who weren't around for season one and early into season two siege was not in a good place and the bugs and the glitches the matchmaking issues now some of those issues do still remain today but back then the game was nearly unplayable and the sales were down and the game was going half price to get some sales revenue up for the game and the support wasn't really there it's nice to see that ubisoft took a step back reviewed the game for what it was fixed as many issues that they possibly could. Again, if you play Rainbow Six, you know that there are issues with this game. This game can be broken at times, but I would really like to call it perfectly imperfect. It is a mess, but I love it to death, and it's grown so much over these last couple of seasons, and I'm really happy that Ubisoft has decided to fund the game for at least another year. Now, technically, during the live demo, they didn't officially call it a year two season pass, but I'm assuming that's what they're gonna do. They did announce that we are getting more operators, we are getting more maps, more content, there will be more tournaments, so I'm assuming, again, it will be another season pass if you had to put two and two together. One of the beauties of Rainbow Six Siege, though, is that you don't need a season pass by any means to enjoy the game. Yes, season pass holders do get operators early, and they do have more renown than you do, and they do have some more skins than you do, but the truth of the game is that none of this content is locked behind a paywall. You do get to play all the operators after you unlock them with renown simply by playing. The map is not locked behind a paywall. You don't have to pay for it. There is nothing that you can't earn simply by playing Rainbow Six Siege. Now, if you're like me, and you want to support the game, you want some extra goodies, by all means, buy the season pass. This is exactly how I'm going to justify buying a year two season pass, assuming that's what it's called and that's how it works. I want to support the game. I want to support the developers that I love. I appreciate the game so very, very much, as I can imagine some of you do, despite its flaws. And if you don't want to, man, you don't have to. And that's the fucking awesome part about Siege. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. A year two season pass seems pretty hype for me. Not because I have to pay for it, but because there's more stuff coming for everybody to enjoy. So again, there is a playlist for all things Rainbow Six, all things Red Crow as the operators are actual release we will be covering them here on this channel check out the playlist in the description as well as the annotations on screen i have been ampy i will see you guys on the next video